so I launched this channel about a year and a half ago when I was traveling and then basically life got in the way I was traveling and then I had to apply to college and then I had to go to college and now I'm home for Christmas so I thought I'd give this channel another shot try to build my subscriber base up from 12 to maybe 13 or 14 by the end of this video that'd be great um, but basically I just thought I would try this new thing I'm calling it vlogging but it's not really vlogging because it's not you know the dumb vlogs that you see on these other channels but basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do basically kind of one shot uh, of what I thought after, right after I saw a movie when my thoughts are both open in my head and I have an extended version of this which will go up around the same time and I'll link that in the description. Um, I saw The Last Jedi, uh, Star Wars The Last Jedi Episode 8, uh, directed by Ryan Johnson, um, who directed Looper, and I did not like it. And I'm not a super huge Star Wars fan, so that's not, you know, really something that I thought about. Uh, when uh, making this when making this video or uh, in my uh, views of the film I really am not like I like the Star Wars films but I'm not like a huge fanatic fan and I'm looking at it from more of a critical perspective and I just thought that it was I thought the critics were wrong and I'm siding with more of the fans on this one there's 56% audience score as of the time of the uploading of this video or writing making of this video and 93% critic score on Rotten Tomatoes I think that uh, I think that the, the critical score is wrong. I think, you know, I, I don't really, I don't see it. I've been looking at a bunch of critical reviews after seeing the movie and I, do, I just don't see it. And I'm gonna explain why. Firstly, uh, Deus Ex Machina is basically God in the Machines or when uh, there's a character in peril and uh, another character uh, comes out of the blue to save them. It happens so many times in this movie and it's such a lazy plot device. Literally every time there's a character in peril, Someone swoops out. Someone swoops out. Someone literally swoops in and saves the day. Um, secondly, weird psychedelic sequences. Uh, they don't belong in a Star Wars movie. I get it. It's a Ryan Johnson thing. I get it. You know, whatever. He's he's, he's a good director and he makes these psychedelic sci-fi movies that are mind-bending movies, but they don't belong in a Star Wars film. Third, the pacing I thought was very poor. I don't I, I don't get it. Like, pacing seems like such an obvious thing. And it just seemed really poor in this movie. It, uh, the, sorry, I'm trying to keep this under five minutes, so I'm gonna get all, like, uh, crazy about it, but I'm just trying to go fast. Um, but basically, like, uh, um, this is great, just as I say I want to keep it under, uh, five minutes. Um, basically, like, there's one action scene at the beginning of the movie. Awesome action scene. The action scenes in this movie are good. And then there's another action scene at the end of this movie. And between it, there's a whole lot of slog. Um, some of it's good, and there's a couple of little action sequences, but basically the pacing is very poor. It doesn't feel like it has a three-act structure at all. It feels like just one thing after another thing after another thing. There's like three or four main stories, and the film just kind of cuts between them throughout the entirety of the film until they all kind of meet together in the end. And it doesn't, it feels like this movie just kind of exists as a second act. Of, as if this this whole trilogy was one movie and the force awakens is the first act the last Jedi is the second act and I don't know if the third one's been titled is the third act but that's what this feels like it feels like a whole lot of middle movie and I feel like this is gonna suffer from middle movie syndrome in a little bit of the way that um, well not Empire Strikes Back suffer from but uh, that you know all of these other most other movies in the second film this trilogy suffers from where it's just not as good as the first or the last one and really because it doesn't have any decisive beginning or end. It just kind of happens. That's what this movie feels like. It feels like it happens and is over with. Um, the next issue. I, f I watched a lot of critical reviews online and they said this doesn't happen. But I totally disagree. I think there's so much fan service in this movie. Um, there's a character who's, you know, you, you don't, no one expects him to come back. Um, but he does. He, he, he's there in this movie uh, for a short period. And he makes no bearing on the plot whatsoever. He's speaking with this other character right at a moment of, uh, of a moment of need. But that other character is about to come to that conclusion uh, that this old uh, resurrected character makes him come to anyway. So it, he doesn't matter in the context of the film. Um, there's uh, C-3PO and R2-D2. Just let them die already. Or at least leave the movie. BB-8 is so much better. The new droids are so much more fun than this. And we really don't need them anymore. Uh, there's also a ton of these other sequences that just feel like fan service at this point, and it doesn't feel necessary. Oh, I'm definitely not going to meet that five minute mark. Ooh. The biggest issue I have with this movie is one idiotic sequence. 
The just is so... If you've seen the movie, you're going to know what I mean. Um, but, oh god, it's just so bad. Um, this character, who has little to no connection with the Force in Star Wars lore, is killed. And then... They're not. Just very suddenly, they are not dead, despite the fact that it disobeys all laws of logic. And then they kind of bring themselves back to safety, even though it doesn't make any sense and a real human could not do that. And this human in the Star Wars series could not do that. I'm doing a lot of this dancing here. Um, and then they're just fine. And it, it reminded me a lot of some sequence in Guardians of the Galaxy um, that did something similar to this. And it was a little more believable because I, I really can't say very much without spoiling it, but there's another element in there that helps them to be able to make this plausible, and it's not in this movie, and it really frustrated me. So all in all, I just think, I thought it was beautifully shot. I thought there was a storyline with Kylo Ren and Rey that was amazing and really good, solid, but all in all, I just thought this was a really poorly paced, poorly written movie, and JJ...